I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. How much for the safe? It is not for sale at any price. As I said, it has been placed with me for safekeeping. Hey, Wally! Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing. And dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So... What am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am! I'm doing what's right for Wally. Bye! They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Ooh, looks chilly up there. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, Rating, Curse Black Diamond. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Somewhat understated, and somewhat overpriced. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink. Chickens. Brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret too! Mm. 
that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. How's your day going? I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Hey, Stan! Hello there, son! See you later! Yep! Welcome to my shop. Hello. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. What's this lock? That's for hats. What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. What's that lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. What's that key? That one is only for going in. Never for coming out. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. What's that lock? A special one that can open with any of four different keys. What's this lock? A famous lawyer used that to keep people from stealing his front doormat. What's this lock? That's for sealing a container full of evaporated gas. And please, don't touch the glass. What's that lock? It's for a small jazz band to lock up their gear. What's that lock? It's for a small jazz band to lock up their gear. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. 
Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. All at once? Well, how does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock, I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Otis? The authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. You look like you're having a good time. That's nice. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Wow, that's worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used chips. Warning, 
The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. I used to love these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. Museum of Pirate Lore. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something, doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? Tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. I see so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touche. I'll have a look around. Please do. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. The display case is locked. There's some very tiny writing on it. numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said! Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it. But it was touching. Thanks a lot. What's the story with the wanted poster? 
That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. 